In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of InVision Freehand. So the very first thing that you want to do is to go in uh, InVisionApp.com and uh, sign up or log in if you already have an InVision account. And then you're going to be redirected to this screen. Now simply click on the plus button right here on the top right and click on Create New Freehand. Now we're going to rename this uh, or actually name this to Freehand. And as you can see, the freehand document is being generated. Now, the very first option which you have at your disposal is to either start with a blank canvas or use one of these templates which they recently introduced and that are going to enable you to start from a base based on what you're looking to achieve with this freehand document. Now, in this case, we're going to go with the blank option and uh, as you can see, we're going to be greeted with uh, this uh, screen right here. So by default, we're having uh, the pen tool, which uh, is going to enable us to create uh, uh, basic shapes essentially. And if you select uh, the shift key and uh, you keep it pressed, uh, you can create uh, straight lines. So very easy to use, uh, pretty simple. And uh, if you click uh, over here, you're going to be able to see also the eraser tool that is going to, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to enable you to erase uh, anything that you create. Here, if you click on the text tool, you can create uh, essentially text and uh, you can make it bigger or smaller. You can also change uh, it uh, into a post-it note. And uh, if we revert back to the regular test text, uh, we can see that we also have the ability to change uh, the color. We can also make it bold or italic and even highlighted. And uh, of course we can change uh, the alignment uh, to be whatever alignment we want. We can also lock the layer like uh, for each and every other element. And uh, we can click on unlock uh, in order to restore the original state. Now we can also create basic shapes such as rectangles and if we hold the shift key we can create squares and uh, the same is true also for the ellipses if we click on and hold on the shift key we can create a perfect circle. Now we can also change the uh, stroke size right here and we can also change the color and uh, as well as the opacity and the fill. So if you want uh, maybe around 50% uh, opacity, we can opt for something around these lines. And um, again, if we want uh, a fill, we can simply select that option and uh, we ha also have the fill inside of our shape. Now let's briefly talk about the images since uh, this is going to be a really important part of the freehand experience and uh, there's multiple ways you can add images. Um, the first one is you can use real-time syncing from Sketch or Photoshop and uh, later in the course uh, I'm actually showing you how to do it with Sketch. You can also upload the images from your computer so simply click here and you're going to be greeted with uh, the screen. I'm going to select this uh, JPEG image which uh, I have uh, in the desktop as you can see, the image is being uh, uploaded in the cloud. And another way that uh, I can actually add the images is, uh, uh, for example, I can simply drag and drop the image directly over here. So very easy to use uh, the image features. And if I go on unsplash.com and I select uh, a image, I can simply copy the image right here. And I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to use command plus V and as you can see, you can easily copy and paste the images also using this method. So many ways to add images. They're all pretty straightforward, easy to use and drag and drop. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it when it comes to images. And uh, now let's talk about the sticky notes since uh, these are going to be quite useful at times. So you can easily add sticky notes. You can change the color of uh, the sticky notes and uh, you can move them around, resize them, do pretty much everything that uh, you need with them. So another feature which they recently added is the reactions. So you can easily add the reactions right here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So you can see how you can easily and create uh, uh, mockups and the wireframes uh, in a very fast and efficient way, really. So it's not really going to take uh, a whole bunch of time. And the best thing about it is that uh, you can easily collaborate uh, with uh, your clients. So let's say that uh, you wanted to collaborate and have a brainstorming session with a client. Simply click on the share button and uh, copy the link and uh, set that anybody with the link can edit or view only based on uh, the person you're working with and uh, they're going to be redirected to this very screen. So you're going to see their mouse cursor and they're going to see you um, adjusting and uh, adding uh, elements live and the same is true vice versa. Now, another really cool thing about it in Vision Freehand is the fact that you have version history. So you can go back, in this case, we just created this document today, but if this was a document that spanned across uh, uh, the past weeks, uh, I can go back uh, in the, the versions of the past weeks. Uh, and if I go want to, if, if I want to go back uh, into one of those uh, files, I can simply click on revert. Uh, it's going to revert back to that uh, uh, specific file in uh, the history. Now you can also export uh, all that uh, you created in the freehand document as an image, so you can have it as a nice uh, PNG. And another feature is uh, that uh, you can also uh, present your screen. So if uh, there's multiple people in uh, the freehand document, they're basically, basically by doing this, you're going to force them to see your screen. So it's almost uh, as a screen sharing feature. So they don't need to follow you around and zoom in and zoom out uh, and wonder where your cursor is all of the time. So pretty handy feature. And uh, of course, over here, you can uh, use the plus and minus in order to uh, zoom in and zoom out. What I like to do is to use command and then the scroll wheel and then, uh, or alternatively use the space bar and the, the, the left mouse button in order to move around. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Just one last thing for the nerds out there like myself is that if you want to learn the keyboard shortcuts, you can simply click on that very bottom icon and you're going to see all the keyboard shortcuts. Pretty straightforward. All of them are similar to your favorite design tools. So it's going to uh, take you no time in order to learn them. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it when it comes to freehand. And I'll see you in the next video.